Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please do not go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in these videos. They are for entertainment and reaction purposes only. Honey, they are my opinion and my opinion. No. Baby, not the fingernails have broke the internet. We about to talk about it, y'all, because we haven't gotten into this. All right, so Peach is doing her P.O. Box opening, and people are sending her all kinds of things. She goes and she opens up some press-on nails that was made by a young lady, right? Now, let me just say this. I'm going by what she puts out. As the video starts, right, she's down in the nails, right? She said, ugh, nope, this is not my style. This is not my taste. She said, these are ugly as F-U-C-K. Ugh, these ones are beat. This is that. I mean, it was so nasty. It was so rude. And I'm going to tell you, constructive criticism is one thing, but to continue to say how nasty and how you don't give a F and then ask Wood his opinion. Wood doesn't even know how to spell nail. He don't know how to spell finger, so he probably don't even know what the finger or the nail part is because we know he can't spell any of them. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to be rude like them, okay? And we're going to tell the truth. Now, as she goes on in the video, she reads the letter from the young lady who says, we adopted you like an auntie. I'm the 19-year-old girl who was on the Zoom with my mother. And she's telling her how much she likes her and how she appreciates her and um, how she had went through some health struggles and how she's not letting it stop her. She's, you know got uh, A's and B's while she was in a hospital bed. She graduated early from high school. Now she's in law school and she's just trying to do a little side business. She's thanking Peach for everything. Now, let me just say this, okay? Because I, I, I don't understand this part. When you are a content creator, you control what narrative your video gives. So as you're standing there recording and you're giving this terrible, and I mean terrible read down of these fingernails that was sent to you, and then you get to the letter and you realize who it is, you realize the impact you had on this young lady's life, and you realize, oop, what I've said is really rude because she said it herself. Peach's like, ooh, I done went off on her. I didn't know this was her. Right as a content creator, as you're recording, you can stop the recording. You can go back and re-record. You can go back and you can make a better video. But in this fashion, Peach just dropped the video, not caring that she was tearing this girl down and then uh, had the ability to realize who it was. And she still dropped it because she's a rude, nasty person. And that's just the bottom line. Now, since this video has come out, there has been quite a bit of things, right? The young lady's mother is down under the video and she's going off. She is really mad at Peach. She's trying to let Peach know exactly how she feels. She's actually uh, saying that she's almost ready to fight at this point, right? Then after all of this happens, TikTok, Instagram, everything is blowing up. Peach is continuously making shorts, continuously making videos saying, oh, well, they is ugly. They nasty. They this. She ain't going to get no business. The lunch boxes that were sent to me was better than the fingernails and yada, yada, smack, smack. It has been a mess, right? But let me just give y'all my pure, true reaction because I'm going to keep it raw with this one. Number one, the nails that were sent to Peach is not a fashion for me. I think the young lady sent the nails to Peach because they look like Peach fashion. They were all over the place. They had all these colors. They had all these jewels. They were long. They were dangly. They was bangly. They were everything else, right? If someone would have sent me something like this in a sponsorship, I would have did the video. I would have promoted them. I may have said, this is not my taste or my style, but these are something that was sent to me and I would have went on and reviewed all of them. If there was one that I liked, I may have even put them on. It's not about what you say sometimes. It's about how you say it, how you deliver it. And this was purely rude. This is the thing that I don't understand about anybody. And I'm going to say it, y'all, that everybody is thinking, what person is sending Peach these P.O. Box uh, promotions or whatever it is? Number one, a woman who does not make herself look decent. She looks so unkept. She looks like she would have to wear a sign saying, I bathe and I wake up and brush my teeth. Let's keep it all the way real. If she can't keep her hair done, why do y'all keep sending her these wigs? Y'all seen how she cared for her wigs before. Then she got buck and got black eyes over wigs that were a hot old mess. Why are you sending her this? You see that she don't paint her toes. You see she don't paint her nails. She don't comb her hair. She don't do absolutely nothing. So why would anybody want her to be a brand ambassador for anything that they are doing? I am so, like my jaw is on the floor. 
One thing you have to realize, right? Peach gets out here and she tells us, oh, these brands want to work with me. That brand want to work with me. They want to send me products. They don't want to pay me. No one is going to pay you to promote a thing. I don't believe that half these brands are reaching out to Peach like she says they do. When I tell y'all, no one wants that to be the face of their product, period, point blank. They don't care how many followers she has, how many subs, what number she's getting. They just don't want that image for their brand. If a professional person wouldn't work with her, someone who is just getting started, dang sure shouldn't work with her also this is not the first time she's uh did a p.o box opening it's not the second time it won't be the last time when she was doing them out on the beach if y'all remember when she had the blonde wig on she was throwing stuff away she was like oh this ain't it i wouldn't wear this uh, uh. she was giving the worst reviews so i'm just so shocked that anyone would send her anything anybody would even think that she was going to promote them well even with the lunchbox situation right she Oh, these are cute. I'm happy that they're, you know, black characters. Uh, this, this, and this. She never really said anything positive about them. She didn't tell how to order them. She didn't tell you where to get them. She handed them to the kids. She didn't care if they tore them up. They were walking around. They was tearing off the zipper. She was steady trying to put them back together. She does not care. So it doesn't matter if you have a product that is selling out on shelves or if you have a product you're just starting with. If this is the woman who can't keep herself together that you want on your brand, baby, take another look. In this instance, it's kind of backfired on Peach, right? Because the way she did the young lady, the young lady is now gaining followers. She's getting orders. People are flocking to the young lady because, you know, you messed up. You hurt her feelings. And Peach doesn't like that. Peach, when she doesn't like something and doesn't want people to, you know, like the product, she feels like it's, oh, they're getting it off my name. They're doing this. They're doing that. That girl didn't ask you to do a review like that. You could open that in the privacy of your own home, but you did it on camera. So thank you for, uh, you know, letting everybody want to go shop with her and follow her and make sure that she's taken care of. What a way to do it, right? What a way to be a community and get things done. So I'm going to tell y'all, it's a lot, right? I had to get out here and make a video and check in and see what exactly that the storm chasers thought about this because this is becoming a hot mess. What? Who? It's everywhere, y'all. And like Pete said, everybody's making videos. So the storm chasers, we had to get out here and make one and see what was going on. Baby, I can't wait to see what y'all got to say about this down in the comments because it's a lot. T-hoo. See you there.